hello guys today we are going to talk about the uh, rectangular rule that what's the rectangular rule in numerical analysis how we can solve a question by using rectangular rule okay so this is a question evaluate one uh, yeah it is uh, integration one from three okay one word x one divided by x d of x using rectangular rule for n is equal to two and compare your answer with the exact value mean one uh, we will also uh, evaluate the exact value of this and we'll also evaluate the uh, integrated mean by using rectangular rule that value also okay then we will uh, compare both that values and we will get just one answer okay so let's going towards that rule it is given a question that from one to three one divided by x squared d of x n is equal to two so we clearly we can uh, take a uh, we can see that a is equal to one and b is equal to three because we know that how we can get the value of h okay h equal to b minus a divided by n it is also given that n is equal to two okay and a, a is also given a is equal to one and b basically it's uh, uh, the, the the original form of this is this that a b a of x from where we can take the value of a and b we can guess that what's the value of a and b so here you know that instead of a there is one so we can as we can understand that the value of a is one and b is equal to three okay <clears throat> so the value of h uh, comes us with the n is equal to two by putting n is equal to two we can get the value of h is equal to one see it means that there must be one difference between the two intervals it means that between the one and three one and three this is interval the difference between these two interval must be one because h h h uh, gives us the value of between the and uh, difference between the intervals okay it gives that idea okay so by uh, x is equal to one f of x is equal to one by putting one from here we uh, I, I got the value of one okay it is, seems blow okay now okay so x is equal to one from here this one came uh, this one came from because we know that a is equal to one so we will start from a and we'll go to three okay you you know that from here you know that is one and is three so we will start from one and we'll go to three up to three okay so by putting one and this uh and this function it gives us one by 14 2 it gives us 2 from 2 from 5 by 14 3 it gives us 0 from 1 1 okay so now we're going towards the formula formula of this would be like that because you know f naught f plus f1 but here if you uh, you see that f naught is this f1 is this f2 is this we should go for 3 because there is 3 but in a rectangular rule we mostly and we often ignore the f2 values because we know that and formulas if you have seen the formulas of a rectangular rule the formula of rectangular rule is this that here is fn minus 1 it means that the last term we will ignore the last term okay so here we can see that the last term is uh, f2 so we will ignore f2 Okay, from here you can see that f2 0 4, 3 3 so we will ignore it f naught and f plus f1 we'll just go to uh, f naught after f naught and f1 okay so by putting f naught f1 values uh, we got 1 from 2 5 and the exact value is this that exit value is too easy by simply integration uh, you can get uh, minus uh, because you know that uh, uh, it will give us uh, minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1 so it gives us this and by putting the upper limit minus lower limit it gives 0 for 6 okay now error exact minus numerical it gives minus 0 for 6 5 uh, minus 0 for 6 5 this is the error okay so by increasing the n values we will get more accurate result by as as uh, far as the n uh, increasing the n values it will give us the most and more accurate result uh, the result will goes to to be more accurate now i have also uh, solved another question by uh, n putting n is equal to 4 okay so you people can also see that by putting n is equal to 4 
we can get the difference 0 0.5 so there must be f not f1 f2 f3 f4 there must be a four function of the mean a four values so we will just go for f3 because we know that we are uh, also we uh, that we should ignore the lost values so by ignoring the lost values by putting all these it gives 0 0.925 from here you can see that by increasing the n values it it goes most accurate result near to 0 0.6 and by putting n is equal to 2 it gives 1 from 2 pi by putting n is equal to 4 it gives most accurate and most near to the uh, exact value 0 0.9 to 5 and the exact value 0 0.6 so by increasing the n values we can get more accurate result and more suitable result okay so i hope you have uh, learned something from me if you have learned something so subscribe my channel and like videos